Aerial Disaster Assessments Aerial assessments are a very visual and highly valuable way to assess a large area and predict possible needs. It is not very personal though and does not allow for close contact and interviews unless you land and perform them. It is literally a snapshot of the situation at the time you are there. It therefore helps to know what it was like before your flyover because you may assume damage was from a recent disaster whereas it might have been before. The three main ways aerial assessments are done are 1. By fixed wing plane 2. By helicopter and 3. UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle such as a pilotless drone or quadcopter etc. A fourth adjunct is to incorporate the use of satellites. If possible, before you go if you have internet, Google Earth allows you to do a virtual flyover the area and even save the KMZ and KML files to your cache files on your computer. When you are ready to leave on your aerial assessment, remember you need six things. 1. A writing instrument such as a pen. 2. A notepad or paper to write on. 3. A watch to note the time and day of your assessment. 4. A map of the area. 5. A GPS to note exactly where you are. And 6. A high resolution camera to take aerial photos. And you can later add information from the assessment to your map to provide your report. Before you leave, try to obtain information on the area you're going to and take a basic survival kit including food and water. Try to make sure you're secured in the aircraft using a seatbelt or harness if possible. Remember to have a purpose before you head out and ensure you are prepared to complete the aerial assessment. This is probably just an assessment and not an aid drop or rescue mission, although that is possible too. You will need to be objectively focused. If you can land and chat to people, that would be helpful but not mandatory of an aerial assessment and flyover. Try to complete an honest, unbiased and effective assessment and report and prioritise needs from that. This programme was written by Gary Fu.